What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Our Streamers Cheaters. Today we're going to be talking about Torve again. We know he was banned in the 60,000 ban wave. His main account is still permanently banned. However, he has started streaming to Twitch TV again, but he is using a Smurf account, a brand new account, and he's been talking about it on stream about how he's not banned for cheating and so on. We're going to be taking a dive into some of the footage that we've actually been sent and also questioning why he is still able to be a Twitch partner and streaming live to Twitch after a permanent ban. So let's take a look now. But before we get started, make sure you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let's get this one to 5,000 likes. Also, follow me on Twitter, at BadBoyBeeman. This is the best way for you guys to contact me about any streamers, no matter how big or small, who you believe are cheating. Right. Let's crack on with the video. So most of the clips we're going to show you today are actually just based on him talking, nothing to do with the gameplay, because the things in which he's saying are kind of tripping himself up, okay? This was actually clipped onto his channel. It's called LMFAO, admitting he changed his IP. Let's watch it now. It can't be my IP. My IP changed. I don't even have the same IP. So he's already admitted now that he's changed his IP address. Okay, which isn't a big step in, in avoiding a shadow ban in any way. But, but we all know that if you create a new account after being permanently banned and you use the same device, right, and you don't use a hardware ID spoofer or change your IP address as well, the IP address isn't really necessary, but it does help with the situation. That avoids your new account being shadow banned. However, if it was a false ban on his main account, there would be no reason for him to have to take precaution against a shadow ban on a new account whatsoever. False ban would honestly be a false ban and it would just be linked to that one account. It wouldn't cause any issues, as far as I'm aware, on a new account being made. However, he's taken precaution in changing his IP address and I wouldn't be surprised if he's actually got a hardware ID spoofer running at the same time. But that is just speculation. Let's go on to the next clip now. Again, with this clip, we are going to be focusing on what he's talking about. So I'll play it now. We'll talk about it afterwards. Let's go. Dude, you had us fucking worried that you were not going to stream. Well, we still going to stream, bro. It's not like I got banned on Twitch. I don't get banned on Twitch, bro. We just got banned on, on the game. Again, admitting that he got banned in the game. But not on Twitch. That shouldn't even be a question, okay? However, obviously, he's replying to somebody in his chat saying, oh, we didn't think you were going to stream. So he's like, you know, it doesn't matter if I get banned on the game because I'm not banned on Twitch. I just make a new account every time. And it's that sort of attitude that he seems to have. But again, he's been banned on his main account. He's still got people turning up to his chat and just acting like he's done nothing wrong. No. Let's be honest. You don't just get falsely banned. We've already discussed how being banned works and how Activision detect trace files linked to an account and so on. So that being said, he's still openly talking about being banned. He's never denied being banned, but he's denied why he was banned. And honestly, I think that he's trying to fool his community still. And he's talking about not being banned on Twitch. But I bet you if Twitch knew the real reason why he was banned on his main account, I don't think he'd be streaming for very much longer on Twitch. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Let's go on to the next clip now. This clip reminds me of the Wagnificent situation during the first ban wave. Wagnificent put tweets out to Activision saying he was falsely banned. He spoke on stream about it, about Activision, and saying how he wanted them to give him proof to show why his account was banned. Knowing full well that Activision won't actually provide that evidence because a permanent ban is a permanent ban based on what they found. And it's that simple. But this clip is the same scenario. Watch this. We just got banned on on the game. And they didn't even give me a reason why. I wanna I wanted the proof. Warm up's done. He wants the proof. Okay, so he's asking basically for Activision to give him proof why his account was banned. Yeah? He's got the proof, he knows the proof. And this is it. This is all a sort of deflect tactic. It's sort of it's not on me, it's on Activision. Let's blame them. I'm gonna demand proof, knowing full well that he'll never get it. Same as what Wagnificent did, however many months ago. And I bet you Wagnificent still hasn't had the proof. So, it's all tactics to keep his chat, to keep his viewership on his side and believe in him. That's the way I see it. How do you guys see this? How do you guys interpret what he's saying throughout these clips? Let me know in the comments below. 
Well, there we have it, guys. Torve is still in denial as to why he was banned. He won't be admitting that anytime soon, I don't think. I think that's the difference between him being allowed to stream on Twitch and not being allowed to stream on Twitch. If he admits it, then it's a perma ban off Twitch as well, and he will lose his Twitch partnership. So I believe that that is why he's sticking to his guns with this one. Even if he has had a couple of slips of the tongue through some clips that we've shown in this video, I still believe that he's holding his own, and that's why. If you've enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Let's get this one to 5,000 likes. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think about the whole Torva situation. Do you believe that he was banned for cheating, or do you believe that he was falsely accused and falsely banned by Activision, a multi-billion dollar company? If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel further, hit that blue join button today and become a member of the Triple B fam. And don't forget, guys, to follow me on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman. This is the best way for you guys to contact me about any streamers, no matter how big or small, if you believe they are cheating. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. P -p -p Peace!